Hey guys, Donald in Board Certified Dermatologist. Today I'll hone into sunscreens and hopefully this video will give you a refreshing, I guess, idea about how to use makeup together with sunscreens, both to get a correct color match, but importantly give you broad spectrum cover against UVB, which is the burning side of your uh, UV spectrum, UVA, which penetrates deeper, and that, that's the one that causes more photo damage, collagen loss, and photo aging, as well as visible light, which is extremely important when you're treating certain conditions like melasma, as well as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, especially in darker skin types. So let's dive straight into it. First of all, sunscreens, what do they do? What do they protect? So all of them have UVB protection. UVB protection is a measure of the burn time. And that's basically measured at two milligrams per centimeter squared and basically irradiated. In other words, if skin, for example, was to burn in 10 minutes, but now burns in 20 minutes, that's an SPF factor of two. So basically an SPF 50 means you can go out in the sun and not get burned 50 times longer than what you necessarily would. But that is only the factor which signifies burning, right? So UVA, however, depends on the country you're at. Most of the time, it is not written on the um, box itself. So that can be classified as broad spectrum, which, which has UVA coverage. Now, UVA coverage, however, is very important because UVA goes to the deeper parts of your skin. And when that happens, you can have signs of photoaging. UVA basically breaks collagen and it can cause photoaging. In other words, increase in the amount of rides, wrinkles, both fine lines, wrinkles, etc. Now, when it comes to visible light, that's really, really tricky because there are no guidelines in regards to visible light uh, protection, especially when it comes to the use of sunscreens. We know, however, that iron oxides can help. Now, iron oxides vary in color from different hues of brown all the way up to pinky red color. Now, these iron oxides have been used in sunscreens, believe it or not, for nearly three decades, right? Because as dermatologists, we used to prescribe these iron oxide uh, sunscreens to patients with certain conditions like xeroderma pigmentosum and porphyrus and other idiopathic dermatoses. So that one is well established. Ideally, a sunscreen should have a broad spectrum coverage, UVB, UVA, and visible light. Visible light is very important if you have these dermatoses, which are very, very uh, prone to being flared up by visible light. But most importantly now, the vast majority of the world's population, being of Asian extraction or ethnic extraction, will have melanocytes or pigment producing cells, which have receptors and they're called OPSN receptors. And these receptors are very, very prone to actually being stimulated by HEV or blue light. HEV is also known as high energy visible, but also blue light itself. And blue light itself lies in the 400 plus nanospectrum uh, coverage. In the context of UVA, UVA stops the protection before visible light. So now we're left in a quandrum because how do we protect against visible? And this is where the iron oxides come in. Now, this is where it gets really tricky because Sunscreens per se don't usually have a good color match, as you guys know. Because of the varying amount of iron oxides within the sunscreen itself, you find it very, very difficult to find an ideal sunscreen for color match which contains iron oxides. For example, in some countries, Milan MELAN 130, made by Miso Aesthetica, is a very, very good sunscreen. That's my personal sunscreen of choice. That sunscreen match, for example, suits my skin color. I don't mind it. La Roche makes some good ones as well. But what you want to do is find a sunscreen with an iron oxide. Now, if you find it really difficult to find a sunscreen with a good color match that contains iron oxides, the solution is really easy. First of all, just use your broad spectrum sunscreen. UVB, UVA is corrected. Pick a makeup of your choice that contains iron oxide in your shade. Now that will protect against visible light. Most makeup, however, are high in iron oxide content, but you've got to actually figure out the color match. And a good tool is something called Match My Makeup. It's a free tool that you can use, and the link is over here, or you can visit them on Instagram. So this is a free tool for you guys to actually color match your makeup to ensure that when you're transitioning from a makeup that's got low in iron oxide or no iron oxide, to a mineral-based iron oxide, you get your perfect color match. So guys, 
This is a simple solution, but an effective one to cover against UVB, UVA, and also visible light at a perfect color match for your skin. Please like, comment, share, and by all means, subscribe.